What is up everyone? Welcome back to House of Cards. And uh, this segment, I just wanted to cover real quick, just promote the eBay store. Go check it out. Uh, a lot of my new stuff is out there. Um, new cards that we've put um, through submission and now graded um, is, is up there. So I have uh, graded cards through SGC, got some uh, PSA stuff from before, some BGS cards, you know, football, baseball, basketball, UFC, you name it, we got cards up there for you guys. Um, anyways, go check out the eBay store. Uh, see, it says more for two, I believe is, is how you can look up uh, my particular uh, store format, etc. If not, you'll see it in the comment. Um, section of this video as well and uh, you can go check out the cards if anything up there is of interest make me an offer um, or you go ahead and hit that buy now button all right anyways let's get into the first cards here um, this segment what we're doing is we're going through some of the stuff I've been picking up over the last couple of weeks and we're gonna see what's grade worthy what's not grade worthy and so on all right so we're starting off in the world of soccer here with Giovanni Reina and uh, picked up this particular card here a while back. Did a, a segment on this as well. I picked up these because uh, this card uh, is serial numbered. Uh, as far as the future stars, he is on uh, uh, Dortmund with uh, Erling Holland. And again, I like serial numbered cards. They're one of my favorite things. Uh, this is also a... Uh, refractor card too you can kind of see the shine on the background there and then you can kind of see the star as well and this one's actually the gold card you can see the gold trimming here on the bottom and then on the back we have the 27 of 50 uh, serial numbered card here so i like that that particular card he's an up and coming star playing well uh, hopefully he can get more shine uh, we do have a world cup coming up here as well um, and in, in the future and so I want to make sure that I pick up some cards that possibly, possibly we can have graded, hopefully get some tins, something along the line there. Uh, picked up this new tool, um, kind of going away from the tins, whatever, uh, trying to get some grade worthy cards, obviously. Uh, they sell better than, you know, raw form cards at times. Uh, picked up this little tool on Amazon, card centering tool, and um, kind of learning how to uh, play with this and figure out if it's properly centered or not uh so checking that out and then also there's a little manual that comes with it but not too i'm not too good with the instructions on this little manual but what i've been doing just lining it up on the edges here and seeing if everything kind of looks looks about the same on all the sides of the cards here and so here i'm looking at it and so far the the trim that i'm following uh we're not trim but i'm following this chrome line here kind of matches up here at the bottom. But this card is a little bit harder to kind of use as on some of the other cards. You, you can definitely see it easier, like with the prism cards and on some of the tops chrome cards as well. Um, this particular insert uh, on tops chrome is different because there's no actual border uh, for you to compare it to. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the next card. Let's do this real quick before I get too far ahead of myself. Take the card, shine it around in the light a little bit and see if I notice any surface scratches. I do see a little something right here. Could just be a little smudge. Clean that up right there between where it says Champions League and his face. Okay, and it, it came off. Now, checking the edges. Okay, edges look pretty good. Checking the corners. Corners look good. Yeah, corners looking good. Yep. So, so far, so good on this one. Okay. And this is the number to 50 card, okay? Looking on the back here. Looks good. One thing I did notice, and this is gonna go into the iffy pile. So here there's a little white on this 
corner here. And then I see like a little dimple on this corner. And then I don't know if you can catch this right here. Let me see if I can get the light right. Right here. It's definitely noticeable from, with, the, with the naked eye. But you can see that little, there's like a little bump dimple right here that's popping up and it looks like it's just like inside the card i can't tell if it's a bubble or what that is but i mean it's very noticeable it pops out and then i just noticed another little scratch right here uh by the bvb in between the bvb and the 27 there so i've already seen too many things one two three four things on the back of this card although the front look good this is probably not going to be worthy of grading so i'm gonna put this one in here put it in the no go pile for now let's take on the next card here so i had two giovanni reynas same card but this one is the teal refractor this is number to 199 so the other one's like short short print this one is more so just a short print there but still better than having you know 10,000 20,000 copies of a card out there that you've purchased right so let's clean off the surfaces here usually just use two um cloths and these are just you know uh, eyeglass cloths you know so it does not do any damage to the card all right just cleaning off any fingerprints i may have put on it or previous person that held the card may have put something on there never never sure um, all right, so let's take a look. Checking out the surface first. Surface looks good. Now we're going to check out the corners. Edges, I mean. Edges are looking good. Mm, I am noticing right here, there's like one print line that I can see that's running up and down from the F here. All the way up into the top of the star here, but just that one so far. Uh, do see another little, you can tell that's a surface scratch right there, right above the R. So I'm not too sure about this one either now. Man. Hey. Let's see in the back. Let's see, the back of this card looks good. I don't see any issues on the back of the card. Jeez, that front. And I'm just gonna, just for kicks, I'm gonna put the centering tool over it as well, just to kind of see how it lines up. All right. And so this is the difference because on this card, um, the border whatever this is where it reads the team name and the name here that, that line that goes across that is actually way higher than on the previous card the previous card lined up with the nine and ten here and on this card it's what it, it's a lot higher so on that one you would not get the centering let's see Oh, I'm off on it a little bit too. So it is about, I guess, about the same. Let's see here, you're sitting at a three. This one, you're sitting at a, right about a three, two. Okay. Just putting them side by side that way you can see. Yeah, they do line up pretty close to one another. There. All right. Now, this one did seem a lot better than the other card. I just did have that one print line there going from top to bottom. And then the little surface scratch here. So this one I'm going to put in the, you know, maybe pile. Just uh, just in case. We'll, we'll see if we're going to go with this one for grading purposes or not. I want to see how many cards we get that uh, kind of qualify or make the, make the yay or nay list here. Okay. So we're gonna go with the teal one as a hopeful here, okay? Next up, now we're gonna go into football, all right? So I got this Derrick Henry right here, 
rookie introductions. I just recently sent off a Derrick Henry too um, already. Hopefully it'll be back here in the next week or so. Uh, but I sent one off, one or two, I can't remember. I think it was actually a rookie introductions like this, Prism. And then um, also just a rookie card, a Prism rookie, his regular card, not the insert like this. And uh, we'll see, I'm excited to find out how, how that card turns out. If it's gonna be a bust or if it's gonna be a winner, we, we get a 10 on that grade there, so we'll see. And I'm very excited to see how Derrick Henry does this season, does this season. Taking a look at it here, corners looking good. Edges look good. Just checking the surface here, moving it around some. I see one smudge, possible little print line there. So I'm gonna clean it off a little bit. There we go, not too hard, but just enough to kind of wipe the prints off that may be on here. And then try to just going away, you know, outward on the card. I'm not pressing down into it really, you know, just gently trying to remove the smidge or whatever it may be on the card. Man, so I'm still seeing a little something down here. Let's see. That could just be my fingerprint. Down here, let's see. There we go. So that part came off. Let me see. Kind of see a little something down there. Can't tell. All right, so anyway, let me try this one more time. Let's see here. I'm not sure if y'all can see all these. Or not all of them, but the, the marks that I'm calling out or the smidges or the print lines, but um, I am, I'm able to see them, you know, cause I have the card here in front of me and I'm able to kind of turn the light a little bit or turn the card into the light a little differently. Now, and there is a line that's going right here for sure. The other ones came off, but there is a line here right in the center. Everything else on the card looked decent. Let's see what about here. And then there is like a little print right here as well, like a little scratch right here by my pinky. You can kind of see it right there. So this one's probably gonna be a no-go as well, as much as I wanted it to be uh, my first submission, you know? So this is gonna go in the no-go pile. Next card. Now these, we just pack pulled yesterday. Check this out. Trevor Lawrence right here, rookie card. So this is exciting. My boys did a, a break with me yesterday. Uh, go check it out if you get a chance. Um, the previous video or listen to the podcast segment there. And um, we did a couple of solo packs. And uh, man, the, both Diego and David pulled some fire yesterday. Pulled out the, the, this one right here. Look at this. This is All-American Trevor Lawrence rookie card. Got the flag in the background. And it's the All-American insert right here. And it's a silver. So pretty cool card. It's going about $70 online, but if it's graded, it can go about $40, $50 right now. That's probably because, um, also because they haven't had their first real game just yet. Um, they were in the first week of the season. First game is tomorrow night, Cowboys, Buccaneers. Hoping my Cowboys come out with the win. Although I think they're gonna get slaughtered by Brady and his Bucks. Um, we'll see. Gonna be interesting. So let's see here. Looks like it might be slightly off to the right on this card. And then seven there. About seven there. So top and bottom look pretty solid. And then just slightly off from left to right. Overall, this card looks looks decent. Let me pick it up. Take a look at the look at the edges, corners. Corners look good. Yeah. 
edges look good there. Let's see. Back looks good. No prints on the card. You know, like fingerprints, I mean. So, looks good. I think this one's going to be a winner to go in. And he's, you know, new, fresh quarterback uh, on the Jags. We'll see what he can do, you know. They made him the starter already, so time to, time to make do and show us what all that money's about, right? So that one looks like it's going like to make the pile to go. Next one we have is a, another Trevor Lawrence. This is a red, white, and blue. Same insert, the All-American. Got the flag in the background. Got the little rookie card symbol there on the top right. And then it's the red, white, and blue version from the bonus packs. This is another one of those cards that the boys pulled yesterday. They're pulling some fire, so I got to have them do the breaks more often for us. Let's check it out real quick. Yeah, that's clean right there. Surfaces look looks good. Corners look good. Edges look good. This looks like some of the little the little feathering stuff from whenever they cut the cards. That's all I see on the edges there. But that can you can sometimes you can just rub those right off gently. So that looks good. Back of the card. Back of the card looks clean. Looks like we got an, another winner there. Uh, I did not center it. Let me check the centering real quick. Let's see, sitting at about the same nine on that. Nine, nine on the top. Okay, about the same there. Check the borders. That's at a four, slightly off. Goes a little bit to the right as well on this card, but not too, too bad. Just a little bit, just a little. So we're still going to put this in the pile here, send off. Now, my question is, how many of these cards are getting sent out to be graded, right? It could be a ton of them. So that's kind of the other thing I got to gamble on and, and decide if we're going to, if we are going to go the route of, you know, sending, sending them off. I think I still am just because it was Diego and David's first uh, break, uh, pulling some fire on these breaks. And um, I think I just want to get them graded for them just as a momentous occasion. And uh, just keep them in the PC since they pulled those. Let's see here. So now we have the James Wiseman right here. Take a look and see. So corners look good. Edges look good. Oh, kind of right here I'm looking at. Can't tell. Can you see that? Hold on. Right, wrong way. Right there. Overall, looks good except for that one little spot there. Surface of the card looks good. Yeah, card looks clean. Let's see. Flip it, check the back. It's like a little, can't tell that little black speck right there. Can't tell if that's a speck or a dent. Oh yeah, that's rough. I'm gonna check if it'll come off real quick. Oh, it did come off, that's why it was rough. Okay, this one looks good. So we got a Wiseman rookie selection right here. And I like Wiseman, um, I think he'll be Solid with Golden State. I think, you know, although Curry last year was able to pull them, you know, as far as he could, I think once they have a solid team together, we also have uh, Clay Thompson coming back now. Um, you have Curry, who's always, you know, balling out of control. And then we have, um, who else did they get? Or did they have? Well, Wiseman, hopefully he'll have himself a good year this year, you know, injury-free. And... Uh, 
all together, they, they're always a solid team. They always play solid, you know, win themselves some championships, but are underlooked, undervalued. And uh, that's why I wanted to pick up some of his cards because his cards are so cheap right now. If you go check them out, they're less than $10 a card. Um, when you see them, at least like these that I found, they were about $10 a card or so under. I think I paid eight for one and then 10 for the other. What I think I'm looking at right here so far. Can't really make it out. No, it looked like it was a dent, but it's not a dent. Okay. Looks good. Checking the corners, edges. This one looks good. Wiseman numbers right here, refractor. Get it up here. Get it loaded. There we go. Put it in the semi ridge right here. All right. And again, all these cards right here, I'm just doing an inspection. My version, my best version of inspection uh, to get in these cards ready to ship off for grading. Um, and I use SGC just because they got a quick turnaround time. They're one of the companies that's open right now. And I actually like their um, slabs better than the CSG or CGS. I, I mix up the, the way that they have theirs. Um, anyway, and I do not have any cards back yet from CGS, but... I sent in an order uh, early half of this year and I still have not received it back. So we'll see. I think I sent off a Brady, I sent off some uh, uh, Randy Rosarena, I think some uh, Bobby Witt Jr. cards that I had sent out. So we'll see what happens with those. All right, let's pick this bad boy up and see. The Lamelo balls I'm really interested in uh, to see. Uh, if I'm going to be able to get them graded. So corner, good, corner, good. Ah, I already see a line right here. Dang it. Oh, man, there's a hard line. I don't know what that is. What in the world? Man, I like this card right here, too. Is that sticky? No, I can't. It, it, it looks like it's just part of the, like, a print defect or something. It's like in the in the shininess of this of the card. Let's see if you can make it out right here. Look, line runs from here. Oh, it actually goes all the way up. It runs all the way down right here, just along the edge. Man, and this is a nice looking card right here too. Jeez. Oh, this one's. I, I don't even have to look at the rest of the card. Man, killing me. I like that one. I'm gonna have to go back and find another one of these. It's a concourse. Jeez. All right, so here we go. Got the next one. We have a Lamello ball right here. This is the premier level. Okay. And it looks like a base. Yeah, I think it's a bit. Yeah, this is a base. This, this does not look like a refractor or prism type here. So, uh, but. Again, this is still a cool looking card. Pick this one up as well. This is nice. Uh, overall, corners look good. Edges look good here. Surface is good. Thank goodness. No scratches like that, like like that other one. And it looked like more like a print defect on that. So, man. Back looks good. Okay, all right, this one's good. So, look like we're gonna hold on to this one for grading here. Next up, we're gonna go into MMA. Okay, so we finished up with the basketball right there. Let's check it out. I got two, two hard hitters right here, so. Manny Nunez, right here, check this out. I always like museum collections. Yeah, and then what's tough about these is look, look how thick, 
look how thick the card is versus something like this. Look, look at that thickness. That's a thick boy right there with these museum collections. But I think that's what makes them so much harder for grading too. Although this one looks good and it's got the piece of the mat and it's 51 of 75 for this particular card. Surface looks really good. Edges look good. Corners look good. You know, like I said, for for it being this thick of a card, looks real good. Back looks good. Yep. I ended up getting one of these graded. It was a, a Megan Anderson. Um, she's also an MMA fighter as well. Got her ass handed to her uh, by Amanda Nunez. And um, anyway, I got I picked up some of her cards because I saw the build up to the fight between Megan Anderson and Amanda Nunez. And uh, so I get I get several of her cards. They're low pop cards too, uh, very very short print cards. And I send it off to HGA to get graded. And one of them, I, I sent it off. Edges were good, corners were good, and I got it back with the with one of the corners dinged. And uh, you go back and find that video. Uh, whenever I revealed that HGA grade, H. GA grade um, whenever I got the card back, but that was tough um, that it came back like that. Uh, anyway, that one looked good. I'm gonna ha I have that one ready uh, to be sent out now too. Uh, one last thing. Overall, look good. Hopefully, this one will come back a ten. Check the edges here. Comes out to a ten on that corner. Over here, those look like uh, that's kind of like a nine. No, nine there, nine there. Yeah, no, these these do match up overall. 10 and 10. Maybe top to bottom, slightly off, just slightly, but it looks like it's within that kind of, they have kind of like a little grace period, um, you know? So like it can be like give or take, you know, just a smidge off. So it looks like it falls within that line. And check this one out right here. We have a Davison Figueredo. Figueredo. Um, pick this one up. Got his autograph on it here. It looks good overall. Let's clean up the surface real quick. I always make sure not to touch the autograph, even though it's on, like this particular one is on a sticker. Um, I, I do not want to damage the autograph or smear it or anything like that. So I just kind of clean around it as much as I can. No, for sure. Well, not for sure, but normally your autos are going to give you a 10 because it's their autograph, right? Um, but the card is where we got to see what, what we'll get. If it's going to be a 10, not a 10, etc. cetera. Um, but corners look good. Edges look good. Overall on this one, checking the surface. Just trying to hit that light just right. So I have one of those O-ring lights. Um, and then I also use the daylight. I try to sit by a window as well. And then just kind of move and finagle the card a little bit back and forth to give us a give us more light angles on the card surface to see if there's any surface damage or scratches, et cetera, that will be, you know, detected by the grader. Because if they're there, you want to go ahead and not submit that card because you know it's going to get dinged for that. Unless you're just, you know, going to submit it and get it slabbed for, you know, PC purposes and just keep it for yourself. But if you're doing it to flip and, you know, go and try to sell for high dollar, you know, or for more dollar than what you paid for it, you want to make sure you put you only submitting the best of the best for you okay but that looks like it's going to be a good one too this looks like it should be a 10. um the amanda nunez look like it's going to come back a 10 there and now we just got a couple of these uh stefan diggs cards right here we're going to go through oh yeah man we got some good ones right here coming up all right here we go first one up Top's chrome right here. So 
So cleaning the surface of the select cards was like smooth, smooth, smooth. And then doing the top chrome is, feels has a little bit more of a rough, like gritty texture to it. I don't know if that's factual. That's just kind of how I feel whenever I'm using the, the cloth to clean it there. Corners. Corners look good. Edges are looking good there. Check the back. Back looks good. Yep, that looks good. This is his Tops, Tops Chrome Refractor. You got the little rookie shield here at the bottom. And we got Stefan Diggs here in his Vikings uniform. Now he's with the Titans. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry, Bills. He's on the Bills now. But um, so Allen's got himself a nice weapon right here that he can launch to. But um, yeah, I got his rookie card right here and it's a refractor for him. So always one of the key ones, key cards that you want to have. Gotta have them rookie cards. And you gotta have them refractors for sure. And Tops Chrome, that's for a fact. All right, so that one looks good. Go and load that one up. Now, the tough part is gonna be deciding which which ones we're gonna end up sending in for grading here, because this is a lot of cards. I, I know I'm, I'm not gonna break the bank to get all these graded here. So next one, this looks, I like these a lot right here. I like this one, this is a X Fractor. And these are some of my favorites right here. These look really good. And this one is a Topps Chrome as well. Oh no, I'm sorry, these are uh, Topps Platinum. These are the Topps Platinum. And this I picked up, uh, this I picked up as a single, but then I did get some just refractor version of this as a lot. Corners look good. Edges look good here. Let's check the surface. Okay, so I do see a couple of, I don't can't tell if it's just like, uh, like debris, just some material from the mat here or material that was in the sleeve with the card. I'll try to wipe it down again and see if we can get that off. Cause I see some of the, I don't know if you can see this, on the mat, but there's just like little like lint type stuff that's on the mat and it could be getting on the surface of the card here. So let's go back, take a look. Let's see right here. Still seeing a little something. Yeah, can't get it off. Yeah, there's, there's a little something on this card there that I can't wipe off. Outside of that, back looks good too. Yeah, but that see that one has it just has some I don't know they're just little specks that I can't wipe off the card on the surface here. So I'm gonna put that in the no go pile for now. Have to reassess that one later or something. I don't know. And see here's the next one. So this is the second card. It is also a, an X Fractor too. Clean, clean the surface off here. Let's check it out. Let's see, hopefully this one is. Hopefully this one will make it. So corners look good. Let's see, edges. Edges look good. Let's check that surface. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah, this is clean all the way. Okay, the front is clean, let's check the back. Man, back is clean. Good, this is a good one right here. Yep, so this one we're gonna load up. Got a couple more to check here. See if we can put any more of these Stefan digs in here to, to good use. I'm gonna pl 
plenty of them coming up. Let's see. Clean up the front, front of the car here. And even if we can get us some 9.5s on these, uh, the ones that are super clean, this will be worth it because, I mean, I got the whole the whole lot of six cards for 20 bucks. So if we can get some 9.5s, get these resold, you know, 50, 60 a piece, that'll be a win or higher. It blows it up here in the first couple of games. Uh, could definitely end up getting some return on investment here so already let's see i'm looking at the surface first on this one i already see a little dimple right here not that i want it there because i don't but yeah there's like a dimple here that's gonna ding the surface i mean everything else looks good on the card except for that Yeah, it's just right, sitting right there, right there by the thigh. Oh, uh, that edge right there is kind of, kind of, not dog-eared, but it has a slight dent on it, and then a slight indention on that corner. Yeah, this is a no-go. Yeah, man. So. Going to the next one here. Got another one. Here, I already noticed something on this card. So this might be ended pretty quick. So there's a slight Dent, like right on the edge there that I already caught just when I took the card out of the sleeve. Edges are good, corners are good. I mean, outside of that, everything else looks good on this card, but it does have that on the surface there. So I don't think I'm gonna put that one in. We got two more, two more chances here. See if these can make it. Come on now, Stefan. Let's see, clean it off real quick. Wipe it down here. All right, let's see what we got. Get the sleeve, can we sleeve here? Corners good. Corners good. Edges are good. Let's check out that surface. Mm, so this one, there's a surface scratch. It's kind of like a two-part. It almost looks like a, you know, the little pencil eagle that you can draw, you know, for those drawers out there. It's kind of one right here. Got another surface scratch here. And then some print lines that are going across left and right here. Man. Nope, that one's not gonna make it. That one's not gonna make it. Let's go one more here. This is the last card. Last one here, let's see. Let's clean it off real quick. And the, just the, I'm just kind of fast forwarding um, as far as like how I'm going through on the cards, but also you wanna make sure you're checking out the front and the back, all right? So if the surf, if the front of the card does well, then I'll look at the back just to reassure uh, before I go ahead and put it in the pile for grading. Um, but if the front don't make it, then there's no, not even a reason for me to look at the back on the card. Okay. Uh, edges are good. Corners are good. Here. And then let's get the surface. Oh, I don't know if y'all can see that. Probably cannot see that here. There is a line that runs from right here where the, the Viking, 
the little Viking mascot symbol is, top corner, and it runs as a, uh, at an angle here down toward the football. Man, are you serious? No way. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna, that's not gonna be something you can just wipe out. Yeah, nope. Nope, nope, nope. All right, so that's a no-go for sure. Dang, no wonder. Again, that's the gamble of buying lots too. You know, you may have one that does well, and then you may not have any that do well in that stack. So let's go back real quick, just do a, real, a quick recap with you guys, and I appreciate y'all hanging in tight for this entire 40 minutes plus right now that we're going on. Um, let's go do a quick recap. So we got uh, X-Fractor uh, Stefan Diggs right there. Hopefully we'll end up getting something nice out of that. We have uh, regular Refractor Stefan Diggs there. We had the Davidson Figueredo uh, Select Autograph there. We had the Amanda Nunez. Uh, relic patch here, numbered to 75. We had the Lamello Ball. Uh, this one was the Premier Level. Yep, Premier Level there. We had the James Wiseman. Okay, numbers. We had the James Wiseman Rookie Selections. And then we had the Trevor Lawrence All-American, Red, White, and Blue. And the Trevor Lawrence Silver All-American there. All right, anyways, Thank you guys again for hanging in for the entire show here. And uh, hopefully when we get back uh, this submission of cards, uh, we'll do a recap and see what grades we got on our submission there. All right. Anyways, thank you guys for uh, following and joining. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so. And don't forget to hit that notification and follow on the podcast. You have a great one. And don't forget to visit that eBay store. All right. As well. Link is going to be in the show notes. Y'all have a great one. See you on the next segment.